Hello, my name is Dr. David Milgram. I'm a holistic-oriented cranial chiropractor in Flagstaff in Sedona, Arizona. Over the period of my life, I have studied with many great teachers. One of them was Matthew Wood, who was an herbalist as well as a homeopath. I met Matthew Wood back in Northwestern College of Chiropractic in 1980. And when I had first met my fiance, or soon after, she cut her finger on a skill saw, and it was a spiral cut, and she got blood poisoning, and she had a red line going all the way up her arm, and it hurt a lot. And so I called Matt Wood. I, at the time, I didn't really believe in homeopathy. I, it seemed a little too airy-fairy for me, and too much on a a non-physical level, uh, but I didn't know what to do besides that, so I sent her over to see Matt Wood. Matt gave her some St. John's wort, Hypericum, and within five to 10 seconds, the red line and the pain in my wife's finger almost completely disappeared. By the time she got on the bus, she said, the pain was gone. Well, this was the first real experience that helped me gain a respect, a deep respect, for energy and energy medicine. Matt Wood developed something called the Seven Herbs Plants as Teachers. And what he did was he took a system from the Anishinaabe Indians. He chose seven different herbs than the Indians used. And he related them to different aspects of human development and growth. He gave me a bottle of each one of the herbs, and I checked maybe 5,000 patients for what essence they needed. After a while, I learned that there were many deep energetics within each herb. I've come to learn to call those the keys of healing, the seven keys. Each herb represents a lesson in life, and I eventually related the lessons to the chakras. I related different contacts that I use in positive body language using light feather contacts on the body and on the energy field to elicit certain kind of changes like relaxation, like peace, like opening breathing for example. The seven herbs that Matthew Wood used in his healing system were Easter Lily, Yerba Santa, Iris of the Rainbow, Sagebrush, an a rare and beautiful herb called cat's ears, also known as star tulip, black cohosh, and one called yellow lady slipper. After giving these flower essence to thousands of people and observing the results, I came to realize that there were seven energetics that I came to call the seven keys. I related Easter lily to the energetic of tuning in and the first chakra. I related the second herb, Yerba Santa, to purification of spiritual space and honesty with self. I related the third herb, Iris of the Rainbow, to the process of centering. I related the fourth herb, Sagebrush, to the energetic of letting go and releasing. I relate the fifth herb, cat's ears, to attuning, attuning in, fine tuning. What is the difference between attuning and tuning? First we tune in, like say to a radio station, and we get the station, but we still might have some fuzz and distortion, and then we make a very, very fine little attunement on the dial, and we get perfectly clear reception. That's attuning. I relate the sixth herb called black cohosh to the process of grabbing hold of what is good. And the seventh herb, yellow lady slipper, to that of acceptance. One of my favorite lines from Matt's book is that spiritual path unfolds as we learn to let go and grab hold in the right proportion. That line struck me very strong when I first read it. It has 
a very common belief where people say, let go and let God, oh, just let go. But what I learned in healing is that that's only half of healing at best, and that the better part of healing is grabbing hold of whatever is good for you. Not just to let go and clear your karma from the past, but to grab hold of your dharma and strengthen and empower yourself as you go forward into the future on your path.